Good morning. I'm Alicia Fowler, Operations Officer with the Florida Division of Emergency Management State Watch Office. The following is the Daily Situation Report for Tuesday, March 10, 2009. The State Emergency Operations Center is currently at a Level 3 monitoring status. There are burn bans in 13 Florida counties. St. Lucie Unit 2 Nuclear Power Plant is operating at 92% capacity. No major outage reported. All airports and seaports are open and operating normally. All major highways in the state are open or will be open in the next 12 hours. No health advisories are issued for the state. No confirmed or suspected major attacks on major computer networks in the state and there are no known border security or migrant issues at this time. And now, the weather report. Thank you, Alicia. Upper level high pressure centered over the northeastern Gulf of Mexico and surface high pressure near the northern Bahamas will continue to dominate the weather pattern across the state of Florida today. Above normal temperatures and dry conditions will continue on their mostly clear to partly cloudy skies today, but early morning and late night fog will be the main concern statewide. Patchy areas of fog with dense fog over North Florida will dissipate later during the morning hours and mostly clear skies and light winds will again allow for the development of fog over many inland areas late tonight into Wednesday morning. Relative humidity values may drop to near critical levels this afternoon over interior portions of the state today. Even though red flag conditions are not forecast, these lower humidities combined with warming temperatures, afternoon winds, and increasingly dry soils will result in a high wildfire threat today and for the next several days. At the coast, onshore winds and east ocean swells will result in a moderate risk of rip currents at northeast and east central Florida beaches today, with a slight risk of rip currents forecast for the southeast Florida coast. For drought conditions, the Keech Byram Drought Index average for the state of Florida is now 540 on a scale of 0 to 800. 19 Florida counties currently have KBDI values above 650, with 7 of those having KBDI values above 700. With dry conditions forecast for the next 5 days, KBDI values statewide will continue to rise. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, all of Florida is currently experiencing abnormally dry conditions, with approximately 60% of the state experiencing moderate to severe drought conditions. At this time, an estimated 8 inches of rain would be needed to alleviate the current dry spell. So current trends indicate that moderate to severe drought conditions will persist and expand during the upcoming months unless appreciable rainfall occurs. Don't wait until hurricane season arrives before you consider how your family would respond to an emergency situation. Be prepared. Visit floridadisaster.org to create an emergency plan for you, your family, and pets. And that's all we have for you today. Have a safe day.